Okay, we're gonna start with a fun fact. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. I'm gonna say another fun fact. According to deathunity.org, he was quite possibly the world's greatest inventor. The last fun fact of the day. Thomas Edison was almost completely deaf. He was fully deaf in one ear and severely hard of hearing in the other. Now you might be thinking, hey, that's cool. Thomas Edison can't hear, but what does that have to do with me? And that exactly is our problem. It has nothing to do with you. The deaf culture and the hearing culture are almost completely separated, and it is mostly the hearing culture's fault. I know the problems that deaf people face, not because I am deaf, but because I am studying to become a sign language interpreter, so I spend time with deaf people every single week, and they tell me the problems they face. In our world of acceptance, the deaf culture has been completely overlooked. They are expected to conform to our social norms in our society, even though they physically can't participate in it. I'm gonna tell you two ways you can help fix this problem, but first we need to know a little bit more about what we're fixing, which brings me to my first point, the historical oppression of the deaf community. According to deafhistory.eu, Quintus Pedius was the first deaf man recorded in history by name in about 5 BC. Now, he was not the first deaf man in history, by no means. He was the first one who wasn't immediately put to death or exiled for his disability. Back then, the Greeks were in charge, and they believed that it was better for someone to be dead than for them to be deaf, living in a burden to society. Now, execution isn't the problem that most deaf people face in America today. However, they still face a lot of challenges, and that brings me to my second point, which is the modern day challenges for the deaf community. There's two main problems. The first one is that people don't know sign language and they lack the patience to learn another form of communication with them. I work at Chick-fil-A and I was taking orders one day and a man comes up and I figure out he's deaf so I start signing with him and speaking his language and his, his face lit up, he thought it was the coolest thing ever, so he starts telling me his whole life story because he has no one to talk to. And I find out that he works a way less than desirable job, awful hours, awful pay, all because communication isn't necessary where he works and he puts up 70 to 80 hours a week of that work just because communication isn't necessary, and that is heartbreaking. The second challenge they face is that as soon as someone finds out you're deaf, people automatically assume you're either broken or stupid, and these people are neither. My deaf, one of my professors who was deaf went to the store one time to return a pair of pants, walks up to the counter, gestures at the lady, hey, I'm deaf, can I please have pen and paper? And she's like, okay, she grabs it, writes on the paper first, and it says, can you read and write? My professor is a really sassy guy. He handles it coolly. He drops a pen and he goes, no, I can't read and write. Can you help me now? <laughs> and it, all the stories like that, I know so many more, but for the sake of time, I can't go into them all. Um, it's so many stories like that that just make me so angry inside that people are actually treated that way. And if those stories fill you with the same kind of anger, that's great, because that's the fuel that's gonna lead us into our third point, which is, what can we do to fix this problem? There's two ways we can fix it. The first one is we can learn their culture. And there's two main ways you can learn their culture. The first one is go to deaf events. Now COVID has made it really hard to actually find deaf events, but there's two I know of for a fact. There's one called Signing Santa. It happens every winter at a skating rink in Arlington. And then there's another one hosted by TCC Trinity Rivers called It's a Deaf Deaf World. The second way you can learn their culture is there's a class at Trinity Rivers TCC campus called Deaf Culture in part of the sign language interpreting program, take the class. It's taught by a deaf professor so they know what they're talking about, I promise. The second thing we can do to fix this problem is we can learn their language, which is American Sign Language. There are two ways you can do this as well. You can go to TCC and take the class. Highly recommend that option. They know what they're talking about. Um, the second way you can do it, if school's too hard for you, or you don't have the money or the time or whatever, there's free lessons online at lifeprint.com with Dr. Bill Vickers. He's a very good teacher and you can do those. I'd like to close with this final thought. I just want you to think about how many people like Thomas Edison, like Beethoven, like Helen Keller, this world has never known just because people found out they were deaf and shunned them away from society. I want you to be motivated to see everyone for who they are, a person full of potential. Thank you. Thank you.